Django Dynamic Model Fields I'm working on a multi-tenanted application in which some users can define their own data fields via the admin to collect additional data in forms and report on the data. The latter bit makes jump field not a great option, so instead I have the following solution. Note how custom data field has a foreign key to site, each site will have a different set of custom data fields, but use the same database. Then the various concrete data fields can be defined as This leads to the following use. But this feels very clunky, particularly with the need to manually create the related data and associate it with the concrete model. Is there a better approach? Options that have been preemptively discarded. Custom SQL to modify tables on the fly. Partly because this won't scale and partly because it's too much of a hack. Schema-less solutions like Nosco. I have nothing against them, but they're still not a good fit. Ultimately this data is type, and the possibility exists of using a third-party reporting application. Sunfield, as listed above, as it's not going to work well with queries. As of today, there are four available approaches, two of them requiring a certain storage backend. Django Ave, the original package is no longer maintained but has some thriving forks. This solution is based on entity attribute value data model, essentially, it uses several tables to store dynamic attributes of objects. Great parts about this solution is that it uses several pure and simple Django models to represent dynamic fields, which makes it simple to understand and database agnostic. Allows you to effectively attach slash detach dynamic attribute storage to Django model with simple commands like nicely integrates with Django admin at the same time being really powerful. Downsides? Not very efficient. This is more of a criticism of the AVE pattern itself, which requires manually merging the data from a column format to a set of key value pairs in the model. Harder to maintain. Maintaining data integrity requires a multi-column unique key constraint, which may be inefficient on some databases. You will need to select one of the forks, since the official package is no longer maintained and there is no clear leader. The usage is pretty straightforward. Store, JSON or JSON fields in PostgreSQL. PostgreSQL supports several more complex data types. Most are supported via third-party packages, but in recent years Django has adopted them into Django.contrib.postgres.fields. Store field. Django Store was originally a third-party package, 
but Django 1.8 added store field as a built-in, along with several other PostgreSQL supported field types. This approach is good in a sense that it lets you have the best of both worlds, dynamic fields and relational database. However, store is not ideal performance-wise, especially if you are going to end up storing thousands of items in one field. It also only supports strings for values. In Django Shell you can use it like this. You can issue index queries against store fields. JSON field JSON slash JSON fields support any JSON encodable data type, not just key slash value pairs, but also tend to be faster and, for JSON, more compact than store. Several packages implement JSON slash JSON fields including Django fields, but as of Django 1.9, JSON field is a built-in using JSON for storage. JSON field is similar to store field, and may perform better with large dictionaries. It also supports types other than strings, such as integers, booleans and nested dictionaries. Creating in the shell Indexed queries are nearly identical to store field, except nesting is possible. Complex indexes may require manually creation, or a scripted migration. Django MongoDB Or other no-scale Django adaptations, with them you can have fully dynamic models. No-scale Django libraries are great, but keep in mind that they are not 100% the Django compatible, for example, to migrate to Django non-roll from standard Django you will need to replace Minitomini with list field among other things. Check out this Django MongoDB example. You can even create embedded lists of any Django models. Django Mutant, dynamic models based on SyncTP and South Hooks. Django Mutant implements fully dynamic foreign key and M2M fields, and is inspired by incredible but somewhat hackish solutions by Will Hardy and Michael Hall. All of these are based on Django South Hooks, which, according to Will Hardy's talk at DiangoCon 2011, watch it, are nevertheless robust and tested in production, relevant source code. First to implement this was Michael Hall. Yes, this is magic, with these approaches you can achieve fully dynamic Django apps, models and fields with any relational database backend. But at what cost? Will stability of applications suffer upon heavy use? These are the questions to be considered. You need to be sure to maintain a proper lock in order to allow simultaneous database altering requests. If you are using Michael Hall's lib, your code will look like this.
I've been working on pushing the Django Dynamo idea further. The project is still undocumented but you can read the code at this URL. Actually FK and M2M fields, C contrib.related, also work and it's even possible to define wrapper for your own custom fields. There's also support for model options such as unique underscore together and ordering plus model bases so you can subclass model proxy, abstract or mixins. I'm actually working on a not in memory lock mechanism to make sure model definitions can be shared across multiple Django running instances while preventing them using obsolete definition. The project is still very alpha but it's a cornerstone technology for one of my projects so I'll have to take it to production ready. The big plan is supporting Django non-roll also so we can leverage the MongoDB driver. Further research reveals that this is a somewhat special case of entity attribute value design pattern, which has been implemented for Django by a couple of packages. First, there's the original Eve Django project, which is on Pippi. Second, there's a more recent fork of the first project, Django Eve which is primarily a refactor to allow use of Eve with Django's own models or models in third-party apps. <laughs>